Many of us remember when we were children being told, if you eat that, your teeth are going to fall out. Normally, as we were holding a big bag of sweets. And as adults, we assume that anything that is sweet is bad for our teeth. But it's not as simple as that. Any food or drink containing fermentable carbohydrates can be broken down by the bacteria in our mouth to produce acid. And this acid can dissolve the enamel of our teeth, leading to decay. Fermentable carbohydrates are present in many starchy and sugary foods and drinks. Now, these obviously come from the more traditional sources such as sugars and fruits and juices, but the fermentable carbohydrates are also present in some of the more starchy foods such as breads, rices and pastas. We also find fermentable carbohydrates in fruit and vegetables, things like potatoes, apples, pears and bananas. And milk and milky products contain fermentable carbohydrates in the form of lactose. It's the bacteria on the tooth surface acting on these fermentable carbohydrates and producing acid that starts the decay process and can eventually destroy teeth. So how can we help our teeth? A simple tip is to try and restrict our food and drink to mealtimes rather than snacking throughout the day. This reduces the amount of frequency that our teeth are exposed to the foods and drinks that can cause decay. Try to limit sticky food to snacks. These foods can get stuck in all the fissures and cracks in our teeth and can stay there until they're brushed away. So avoid them as a snack or brush your teeth afterwards. Whilst water is the best drink for our teeth, if you're going to have anything else such as teas, coffee, fruit juices, milk, fizzy drinks, then it's best to try and limit these to meal times only or at the very least reduce their frequency. It's important to remember that good dental health doesn't mean saying no to treats or certain types of food and drinks. What we do need to do is minimise the impact on your and your children's teeth by getting into good habits.